Is Sandy a her or a him? I hate this, bro. Yo, what's going on, guys? Bobby here, and today we are back with another video. So with the Brawl Talk definitely coming soon, we're going to be seeing a lot of changes inside of Brawl Stars, and I'm super hyped because I'm going to be covering every single thing that does change. But before we get changes, something that we, especially in the competitive scene, are interested in are balance changes. Now, there are eight brawlers that have really overpowered things about them. Usually, they're, you know, they're going to be gadgets, but there are eight, like, really, really good brawlers that definitely need to have something nerfed about them so today we're going to show you guys the eight things that definitely need to get nerfed so that being said let's hop into the games and let's show you guys what's up so now i don't know if these things are actually going to get nerfed my guess is that maybe half of them will get nerfed so if you guys kind of want an early kind of seeing what might get changed this might be a good place to watch and try and find out but one of the things that i definitely think are or is sorry going to get a nerf is the crow gadget crow slow is so ridiculously good it's one of the most broken things in the game the fact that you can slow every single target you hit for five whole seconds that is a lot of time if you think about it the sleeping sandy gadget i think is two seconds and just keep in mind how long it is or how long it seems when you're using the sleepy sandy gadget how long those two seconds seem to take now double that and add another second this is a very broken gadget it's used in competitive all across the board heist gem grab brawl ball you name it crow is going to be used in basically every single region crow is just a ridiculous brawler because of this gadget it is one that most definitely needs to be nerfed i don't want them to take it out of the game or anything maybe if they nerf it to like three seconds or three and a half that'll be a good starting spot but I definitely do think this Crow Gadget 100% needs a nerf. So coming in with our second brawler, it's going to be another gadget that needs to be nerfed. It's going to be Rico. Now, Rico, you guys know, is one of my favorite brawlers in the game. I'm not just doing these lists. A lot of people, a lot of players have an incredible amount of bias when it comes to this stuff. You know, they they like the teams that they're... Or they like the brawlers sorry, that their teams are good with. Or they like the brawlers that they're not good with. And what they don't like to face, they say needs a nerf. I don't, I don't want to be like that. I'm going to be straight up. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Rico needs a nerf. Rico has been a top 5 favorite brawler for me since the game came out. I'm loving the fact that Rico is meta. But this, this is just unfair. This is a brawler that once it has position, there is no way of getting it out. It can hit you at angles, bouncing off of walls. That you just have no shot of defeating. And the fact that the gadget... Just fully gets you to full HP every single time you want. It's just ridiculous. It's not very fair. And it should definitely be nerfed. Now, I am a huge fan of skilled brawlers being in the meta, such as Colt or Rico, instead of something like Sandy or Amber. But you have to admit, when something is broken, and this Rico gadget is definitely broken, it needs a nerf. Probably just decrease the amount of heals that each bounce gives by 50% would be a good starting point and seeing where we're at after that but Rico's not going to fall off Rico's going to be in the same spot the gadget you're just not going to be able to be as aggressive with it or with it not with it which I am a huge fan of so definitely get that nerf on the Rico gadget hopefully that comes but I'm pretty confident it probably will so going into our third brawler this one's going to be a little bit different than the first two the first two were definitely just decent brawlers you know maybe top 50% brawlers barely with a broken gadget this this is just a good brawler Bell doesn't make sense to me. Bell is a tank counter with the most range in the game. Now, this doesn't make any sense whatsoever because why does a tank counter have the most range in the game? Now, Bell by no means doesn't... Like, it has counters. On lane with the Piper, a Bell is going to lose. If some, you know, tank is in front of you like a Primo and you're both right in front of each other, the Bell is going to lose. But because Bell is so good and doesn't really get countered that much... And on top of the fact that it doesn't get countered that much, it also counters basically everything in the game with having that incredible range. That is what makes it so overpowered. So what I would think with Bell, give it a little bit less range because there's no way something that can just shred through tanks, shred through Sandy, shred through Stu, shred through Spike, just shred through everything should have the most range in the game. It just doesn't make sense. Just decrease the range by a little bit, and I think it's going to be a perfectly balanced brawler in a perfect spot, and that's exactly what we like to see. So that's going to be Bell, quick and simple. Let's move on to our next one, and let's keep going. So going into the next game with our next brawler. Oh, I forgot to change the camera again. Okay, there we go. It's going to be one that I thought I would never honestly be saying this about, but Primo, Primo needs a nerf. Now, Primo is so strong i understand all the tanks got a buff but think about it like this every single time primo has a super 
you're getting a kill. There is no shot unless you just jump into a Shelly with super. That you are a primo, you're gonna jump and you're not gonna get the kill. It just doesn't make sense. Like, it needs, I don't know what needs to be nerfed. Probably not the health, probably not the range, probably just the damage per shot or the super recharge, but primo is way too good. It's so easy to play. I'm not really that good of a primo, to be honest. But it is so easy for me to just run through on ladder at least, teams, because Primo is so good. Even when you're dying, you're getting your super. Even when you're throwing, you're getting your super. And once you get that first super, you're basically unstoppable for the rest of the game. Now, obviously, if you play Primo on, like, Bounty Shooting Star, where the entire thing is open, you're facing tank counter after tank counter, you're not going to do anything. But if you're playing it in a map where Primo is good, it's basically unstoppable. And if you do stop it, it's only going to be for about 20 seconds until it gets its super back and it jumps on you again. So again, I don't know exactly what stat to nerf or what to nerf, but Primo definitely needs a nerf in some way. So hopefully Supercell figures that out. And this is one that I probably am expecting a nerf to happen to in the next balance changes. Now this, this dreads me to say, and I do not want to do this whatsoever. <laughs> but the next brawler that I think deserves a nerf is going to be Gene. Now nothing, and let me make this clear. There is not one thing about Gene that is actually broken. You know, Rico has the gadget. Max, back in the day, used to have the max speed zipping around, going crazy with the passive uh, max star power. You know, there's so... Piper has OP curves. There's a lot of OP things about a lot of brawlers, but Gene, I mean, I guess it has the pull, but there, the pull isn't overpowered. You know, it takes four full shots to charge your super that if you miss one single time, throws the entire game. Because again, it'll take four full shots to get it back. But, Gene's just entire kit is just not fair. Anything that counters Gene, we're going to go with Buzz, Mortis, a tank, anything like that. As you guys see on your screen, just knock back away. Not the biggest deal. This Gale, by the way, is an absolute legend. Um... But you can just knock anything back away and walk back and you'll be perfectly fine. Additionally, you can just pull things that you counter or, you know, hit good pulls that change the game. That's also kind of wild. But the thing that I actually think needs to be nerfed is the Magic Puffs, which is just 400 heals per second. Now, this might seem like, what are you talking about? The pull is broken. Maybe the range is broken. Maybe other things are broken. No, it's not true. The Magic Puffs is actually what's broken. Healing everyone around you for 400 damage per second is actually a lot. Every three seconds, you're healing however many teammates you have near you for 1,200. That is a lot of healing. That's basically as much as a Poco shots if you're just shooting your teammates. It's like a little bit more than half what a Poco does if you're trying to heal with your regular shot with the, ca with the capo. Just, I don't know. It doesn't make much sense, the fact that Gene can do this. It's just ongoing pressure. And then slowly and slowly, slowly over time, eventually... You do something with Gene to win the game, but the constant pressure, the constant annoying, the constant hitting shots, the constant healing just makes you win the game with Gene. It's a very good brawler. Obviously, I like it. Obviously, I want the pull to be meta. So hopefully, they make it, they can maybe, you know, nerf the range of Gene from the regular shot or nerf the magic puff star power or nerf something about Gene, but leave the pull alone. Because the pull is obviously just like the greatest thing ever. I want it in the game. I want the pull to be good, but Gene itself to be bad. That's what we like. So that's going to be it for Gene. Let's move on to the next brawler. I know I kind of rambled a bit here, but that's because you guys know I just love Gene. So let's go to the next brawler and let's keep this going. Now I'm going to do this one a little bit quickly because I don't believe this one is going to get a nerf. But something that I think should definitely 100% get a nerf is the lollipop drop from Leon. Now it's not necessarily like broken or anything. It's basically just like a constant sandy super, if that makes sense to you guys. On this map, it's not very good. But you guys can see the radius. It's actually quite large. It's pretty annoying and competitive. Um, it's hard to deal with. It's just, I don't know. I'm not really the biggest fan of it. Um, the idea itself is really cool. I think with the right, you know, super range, or sorry, not super range, gadget range or radius or whatever you want to say, it could be really cool. And I like the fact that it's unique. I like unique gadgets. I like the gadget itself. It's just, it's a little bit broken. It's really annoying. You can cover an entire hot zone with it in hot zone. Like, it's just, I don't know. I don't really like it too much. It's not very strategic. Definitely lowers the skill cap by a lot, and there's not many counterplays to it. So I would definitely hope that the range of this gets nerfed, because again, you guys can see it's pretty big. Just nerf it by a little bit, although I don't think it's going to happen. I hope it happens, so let's not waste any more time here. Let's move on to the next brawler and keep things going. So coming in next is Buzz. Now, for all you European viewers, which a lot of you guys are European viewers, you guys apparently 
don't see a lot of buzz. I mean, you know, my my idol cursed who I was talking to said he doesn't even think Buzz is a top 30 brawler. Well, this just, I don't know, this doesn't make sense to me. I guess the metas in EU and NA are usually a little bit different. We usually agree on majority of things, but there's always one or two things each meta where we have totally different views upon, and that's going to be Buzz for this meta. Uh, they run a lot of Gene and Sandy. Gene and Sandy does hard counter Buzz. There's six things, six gadgets from Gene and Sandy that you have to get through before Buzz becomes good. But if you get the right matchup with Buzz... It is just unbeatable. Now, how to nerf Buzz? I don't know. I would probably nerf this star power. Buzz only really became meta when this star power became a thing because you can play so ridiculously passive and charge your super very fast. It's just a very good brawler. If you don't have a gadget or something that counters Buzz, you're going to die to it every single time it has super. That's why I think it's kind of a silly brawler. And the fact that it can get its super so fast is quite ridiculous, to be honest. Um, maybe nerf... The, the time of how fast it gets, I don't know. Either the range or the time of how fast it gets. It's super should be ranged, but it's, or should be nerfed, but it's gadget is fine. I mean, it, the super itself is fine. Everything about the brawler is fine outside of how easy it is to charge that super or how fast. So I hope that gets a nerf, but besides that, the brawler is totally fine. I like the brawler. It's a fun brawler. It shakes up the meta. It's really cool. And it gets countered by a lot of things, so it's not like you can't beat a buzz. It's just, if you don't get countered by it, this is just an absolute machine that's going to be killing you 24-7. So let's move on to the next brawler. We only got two left. Let's keep this one going. So this is a pretty obvious one. Just nerf Stu. Now, I guess I should start a little bit earlier. We'll go to the start of the video. As you guys can see, I'm laning Anita, but I'm not really because I can just go through a wall. Like, what type of brawler is this? Who thought this was a good idea? There was a good, like, two days or three days before Stu's new gadget was out, but after they nerfed Stu, where Stu was just, like, it was a brawler. It was just a brawler in the game that didn't annoy you, that didn't make you want to delete the app. It was just a brawler. It went from having annoying knockbacks to, to like changing up and being like, finally, Stu is balanced. It's not going to annoy us the entire time we play it. But now it will because it could just break walls that you hide behind. I don't know. Stu needs a nerf. This is pretty obvious. Um, don't know exactly how to nerf Stu. Maybe nerf the range of the shot by a tiny bit. That would probably be my best idea because Stu seems like one of those brawlers that can either be annoying like it is right now or it could be absolutely useless. And I don't want to make Stu absolutely useless because it's not like I hate Stu. I actually like the fact that it's high skill cap. There's a lot of cool things you can do with it. It's just an annoying brawler to face that shouldn't exist. But the fact that it does exist, whatever, we have to accept that. Let's just not make it broken. And right now it's broken. So hopefully they can change it. Don't exactly, again, know what they should nerf, I guess. Probably the range or maybe hitting two shots to charge super, but I don't really like that because that takes away a lot of the uniqueness from Stu. So hopefully they just decrease the range or something or decrease the length that you can dash, but cool brawler, like it, just needs a little bit of a nerf. That's what I'm hopeful for. So let's go into the last brawler, which I think is the brawler that definitely 100% mostly needs a nerf. So let's hop into it and show you guys what it is. So the brawler that I think needs the biggest nerf, well, not the biggest nerf, but most urgently, I should say, needs a nerf to something, is Sandy. Now, Sandy's not the most broken brawler in the game. That's not what I'm trying to say here. But what I'm trying to say is this stun gadget does not make sense. Why does Sandy stun? Like, I understand that... <laughs> I understand that this is kind of something that's just in the game now. But realistically, like, imagine two months ago or three months ago, you said, oh, yeah, Sandy's going to stun now. Like, why does Sandy stun? It already has a broken super. It already has a good recharge... Well, it used to be good. I guess not that good anymore for its super. It already has pierce damage. It already has two good star powers. It already had a pretty good gadget. So why are we giving it a broken gadget? Which it is right now. Now, any gadget can be bad or can be good. You just have to change around the numbers a little bit. So I actually don't necessarily mind the idea of Sandy stunning, although it is broken in Brawl Ball Siege. Most bounty maps that aren't just extremely long range. Uh, what haven't I said? It's not really that good in Siege, but people even play Sandy in Siege now. Hot Zone, it's good. Like, everywhere it's good because the stun gadget is basically just an automatic kill. Just like the crow at the start of the game. You stun someone, your teammates are going to help you clean up. It's going to be really easy. My idea, just cut the Sandy stun in half. You guys can see it just stopped. Um, what the dog doing from scoring the goal. That Sandy scored a goal on us earlier using the gadget. Like, Sandy... The skill cap went down a lot with the gadget, and that's not something that I enjoy. I just hope they cut that Sandy gadget time in half so it could be a little bit better. It could be used a little bit differently instead of just being overpowered and spraying it wherever you can. It could be used for more, you know, high IQ plays. 
But anyways, I think this is one that they're going to change, so I'm not going to dwell too much on it. But anyways, it's going to be it for our video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And again, we should be expecting a lot of changes and a lot of stuff to come with this Brawl Talks. We have a lot of content coming. Plus, we have Qual's Monthly Finals, Queso starting a bunch of tournaments that are going to start up. So you guys are definitely going to want to see that. So it's going to be it for me today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, do all of that. You guys already know. But I will see you guys again tomorrow. I will catch you guys then. Peace.